This is old Cam. And this is not a spring chick. And today we are going to be giving you the background of a few. A few, <laughs> a, 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 few a history of some Christmas songs that are that um, basically the pe that are well known to people, but people actually don't even know how they came about. So that's true because most of them just they're the songs are just familiar. Yeah. So, so for, the history is kind of cool. And for the next week or so, we're going to daily, you know, going to tell you a background. You like the. I like the first one we're going to be doing like is Jingle Bells. Oh, now I could have gotten my bell out and been ringing it. I know. Oh, I know. That's, actually, we've got more bell things. But um, it's one of the best known common song winter songs in the world. It was written by James Lloyd Paramount in, you know, in 1857. Pierre Paul. Pierre Paul. Published under the title One Horse Open Sleigh. We actually, we got a rise and changed it to Jingle Bells. Oh, they did? Uh, okay, here's another thing. Here's a problem with a lot of what people think are Christmas songs. They were not Christmas songs. They were written for Thanksgiving, folks. Why? How did they turn into Christmas songs? Because uh, they took them because they liked the thing, so they moved it over to Thanksgiving. You know, like Silver Bells was a Christmas song. Mm -hmm. Chestnuts Roasting on Open Fire is not a Christmas song. Uh, I, you know, um, Old Lang Syne is not a Christmas song, but they have become popular Christmas songs. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, yeah, basically, uh, uh, basically, they have the birthplace of Jingle Bell adorns a plaque on the side of the building in Medford, Massachusetts. He wrote the song there, at the, sat in a tavern with the guy. <laughs> yeah, no. Basically, this town basically it was uh, it was inspired by the town's popular sleigh ride. It was uh, originally copyrighted under the name One Horse Open Sleigh, and reprinted with the revised title of Jingle Bells Are the One Horse Open Sleigh. The, basically, the song because it's age is passed in the public domain. And here comes hit hit. What this is all got to do with public Ooh. domain song? Because you cannot basically um, do uh, you you cannot do a modern Christmas song because they will basically get unhappy with you. So you 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 basically if you do anything that ends up on YouTube and you're using an arrangement that is on a piece of paper, you probably violated somebody's rights. So. Um. And here's, here's part of it is if you think about the jingle bells, because some of these things, like we said, were not originally Christmas songs. Um, the music historian, yeah, right there. Um, James Fold notes that um, the word jingle in the title and opening phrase is apparently an imperative term, verb. In the winter New England, in pre-automotive days. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. You know, the people went out on their horses and, and their it, sleighs. And we had to do, okay, uh, uh, we'll, we'll tell you this, Monty Instead has, of a, this is their bell, Monty, like a bicycle bell. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. Monty has uh, a thing with bells on it, too, for going out at Christmas. Oh, yes, he The does. horses were adorned with bells, which the jingle bells. Uh, with, uh, which, so then you could hear them coming. Yeah. That basically, um, basically, jingle bells are probably taking a certain kind of bell, which actually it really is about. It's like the bells jingling. Yeah. <laughs> they said the first verb and chorus of the most well remembered section is the jingle bells. You know, like, <clears throat> let's see if we can do this one for the people. Actually, I probably need it up here or something. But dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on hobnails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> Jingle all the way. Oh, what, what fun, fun it is, is to ride in a one, one horse open, open sleigh. sleigh. I know he's pausing for me to sing. And I did to do the jingle bells. I figured she could do the jingle bells, but she didn't do the jingle bells. I, I know, because see, part of it is I don't okay. have the best singing voice. But um. uh, <laughs> basically, most of the, basically, the horse's name is not Bob Taylor Bob. The horse is described as a Bob Taylor. Bob Taylor was first to tell being Bob. Ah. Uh, basically, uh, basically, 240 refers to a mile in two minutes and 40 seconds. They, you know, so basically, the Jingle Bells theme was used in French and German songs. Uh, although the lyrics are unrelated to the English lyrics, which I always thought was funny. But um, basically, the original lyrics differ from what we know today. It's unknown who replaced the words, but they simply did it because they think they were easier to sing. Oh, so, interesting. But uh, the, the, well, in 
because originally this song was originally done in 1857 yeah or earlier than that and so originally the words that they might have used to describe things were a little bit different than how we might describe things yeah and then the choruses were all done in a more classical style than they were done today so that's basically most people change the music depending upon where it's being sang it's just like um, you you, you uh, here's the problem is that you face it today, which is why people screw around and they do song. They do their version. No, why pop singers will do pop, their Christmas they'll, they'll song. They'll do their Christmas song and they'll do it in their own style. I mean, um, uh, everybody does you know Silent Night their way. Everybody does Frosty the Snowman their way. The Jingle Bells Rock they do it their way. And but they don't realize that if you're doing it your way and you don't have permission, you get in trouble. So if you're going to do it public domain song, don't do it with how it's written on the piece of paper because that music is basically somebody's arrangement. Mm -hmm. Which is copyrighted. Yeah. Basically we got the first Noel, it is basically not Noel, it is N-O-W-E-L-L. -L. Isn't that like saying tomatoes and tomatoes? But it is a difference because they don't they don't say Noel in England, they said no, no, Noel. No. Well, Isn't that the same way we pronounce it, even though it's spelled differently? We we explain it, we pronounce it differently. Uh, basically, what we got is traditional English Christmas song. Basically, this is real. They have no clue as to when it was See? actually done. First, See, we celebrate Christmas. Yeah, we celebrate this is Christmas. A, this, this is my, we call this. this it's is a tree a, skirt. It's a tree skirt, but what I do is I wrap it she around. She wraps me. it around for Christmas. It's yeah, just around me. We actually take Christmas very serious around here. This is more serious than ever, you know, for many reasons. But the, the word Noel comes from the French word Noel, meaning Christmas. It means so what they did was the first Christmas. They changed it from English Noel to Noel, which means Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, in its current form, it is a Cornish original. It was first published in Carol's Ancient and Modern, 1823. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. But they really don't know. Basically, it's a folk song. It just happened. The melody is unusual among English folk melodies that it consists of one musical phrase repeated twice, followed by a refrain, which is a variation of that phrase. So uh, it's thought to be a version of early melodies sung in church galleries, setting the first O oh, well. Is O oh, well like O oh, well versus oh, well. No well. Like, and oh well? Basically, it's versus a, no we, we're getting technical, folks, but I actually was able to dig this stuff up last night. Wow. Uh, it's a, a conjectural reconstruction of this earlier version that can be found in the New Oxford Book of Carols. But um, in common with many traditional songs of carols, the lyrics vary across every kind. I mean, they change the lyrics. If you, if you can't sing it, you just you must pronounce it. <laughs> uh, so it's been changed over the years. Um, here we go. Um, uh, you know, we got uh, this one. Everything, everything that's in red is English. So, What's the other one? A different language? Uh, no, no. It, I've got this thing. I have, I have the New England hymnal, the Cornish version, and the American version. What nope. is a Cornish version? I think of Cornish game hands. Uh, basically, the different pronunciations of the words. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. like no, no well, uh, things. Oh, oh well, oh well. You know, uh, oh well, oh well. You know, See, and this is, oh, here's part of it is, remember we talked about them um, saying things differently? Yeah. So, for example, in this one, they would say, oh, well, oh, well, the angels did say. Um, in the, in the, the shepherds yeah. there in the fields did lay. Like, we don't talk we don't, like that. We don't that. talk like that. It's basically, it's changed to the English version, which is the only part in red which we can do. Which, uh, the first Noel. The angels say to Bethlehem shepherds as they lay at midnight watch when keeping sheep the winter while the light snow deep. See, that's even different from the version. Notice if you're like trying to go along with this, because I'm sitting there thinking about what I yeah, used well, to it's even still different. No, oh, this is we do, but then then it goes, <clears throat> then it gets to the additional. No well, no well, no well, no well. Born is the King of Israel. And then they uh, like they look up and saw a star shining in the east beyond them far. Basically, it's more lyrical in the other in the original versions. Here it was done 
basically so. The shepherds rose and saw a star bright in the east. Beyond them far in beauty gave them great delight. This star is set now, day or night. That's, you know, basically, and by the light of the same star, three wise men came from the country far to seek the king was their intent. And by the light of the same star, three, you know, it's just, it basically, <clears throat> but that basically, it basically, there, there take words here and there to come up with the songs that people recognize today. So, um, you go down, uh, basically, here's the difference too. In the American version, there's only four choruses. In the traditional version, there is six choruses. Oh. It makes a difference because they, <clears throat> because like me, I'm having, you know, I'm throat problems when I get it done, but. Um, then entered in those wise men three, fell reverently upon their knees, and offered there in his presence their gold and mirth and frank and we're actually going to bring mirth bring, bring, bring with gold, tomorrow. Myrrh, and frank, I'm gold going to myrrh. bring frankincense and mirth with tomorrow. That's because you have, have it. Like, it. Yeah. We um, actually were fortunate to get it at the <coughs> James Way, and he has like treasured it. It's like I'm not getting using it. it until you take it. I have to get a little incense burner. And we'll actually oh, it does smell it. really good. Yeah, then we got the last version in the uh, the Cornish. Twix and ox, and ass, our blessed Messiah's place it was to save us all from a bond and thought. He was a redeemer for all of us. There's that's that's doesn't quite sound the same as it's a little for, bit different than what you're using. I know because we'll try this as well. But it's, it's changed, but the songs no, have changed. No, but everybody remembers Noel, 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 born is a king of Israel. No, that's what we remember, not that the end that we remember. And then it comes up the third one for day one, which was um, it came, it came upon a midnight clear. Uh, this one, I'm not really certain on the music. So. Oh, I know that one. It sometimes read it as it came upon a midnight clear. There's a poem on Christmas Carol written by Edmund Sears, pastor of the Unitarian Church in Wayland. We've got a lot of stuff going to Massachusetts, folks. Really? Uh, basically, uh, here's lyrics almost commonly set to one of two melodies. Carol composed by Richard Storch, Willis, or Noel. Have <laughs> from the English melody, that's probably. Uh, Edmund Sears composed the five standard poem. And, 1849, pasting uh, in the Boston Reg, Christian Boston Reg, registered in 1849, December 29th. Basically, they, looked, they said that he basically did it at, a, at a request of a friend. Um, so they basically wrote uh, a poem, basically, which got turned into a song. Basically, uh, Richard Storrs Willis trained under Felix Mendelssohn. He wrote the oh. melody called Carol. This melody was often set in the key of B flat major and six eight time signature. It's the most commonly wide known tomb to the song in the United States. In Great Britain, the tomb is, uh, the tune is commonly called Noel. It mm -hmm. was adapted from an English melody in 1874 by Arthur Sullivan. And basically, also appears basically was rewritten in 1882, which means you disappoint that song because that is copyrighted, folks. The, one, the 1982 version. That's right. Now we've got to do the first full, the uh, first song composed is five standards. Some versions of the United uh, Methodist hymnal and Lutheran book of worship omit stanzas three while others, including hymnal, omit verse four, several variations, version, version, variations. Variations? Oh, I know, I, I haven't even been drinking, so. But uh, I think. It came upon a midnight clear, the glorious song. Peace on church. earth, goodwill to men, from <laughs> heaven's all gracious King. The world is solemn of sealing that way to hear the angels sing. See, that's see, so. see. Here's part of it is I'm really not very good at singing, and I kind of know what the 
song is supposed to and sound I, like. I, I can and, sing in my, my... And he doesn't know the song. I don't know the song. <laughs> Which, I guess can, what that means, you've uh, already know, heard it. Can, um, uh, so, so, but we can try... Uh, <clears throat> we go. It came upon the midnight clear the glorious song of old from angels bending near here the earth to touch the hearts of gold peace on earth good will to men see did you notice he was used to being a flutter so did you notice how much he changed that time even yeah. from my off-key version yeah i switch <laughs> What I used to do for a living. You're seeing it happen, right? Well, put it this way: what I do to next when we do this stuff in a couple mm -hmm. of days is I go get myself something to drink because it settles my throat down. But uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So until tomorrow, this is Old Count. And this is not a spring check. So join us for more on the history of Christmas songs because Christmas is alive and well.